So, this week I have a significant birthday and that will see me move into a new age category. So last weekend as a treat, I booked us a weekend in Somerset and I set about finding a suitable race that we could do on the Sunday. So after the fun and games of two weeks ago, the Marriott's Way Marathon, where I thought I was entering a marathon on a nice compact railway line trail. It's unwalkable, never mind unrunnable. I took the plunge and entered us in the Bath Two Tunnels Half Marathon, which is built to be on, you guessed it, a nice old bit of railway trail. So, having done the Five Arches Parkrun on the Saturday as a time trial, we decided that with the two tunnels being on flat tarmac or railway line, we would do it around about marathon effort. So one of the big hooks of this race, as the title suggests, is that it passes through two old railway tunnels near the centre of Bath. So a bit of a curious setup for this event. Uh, it's run by Relish Running, an events company, and I think I counted six different races going on on the same day. I think it was a colour burst race, 5k out and back along the railway, two 10k's, one out and back along the railway, a one on a hilly loop, and two half marathons. One on a hilly loop, which started on the railway and went uphill and down dale in the mud, and one up and down and up and down again on the railway. So guess which one I went for? So, has anybody else ever had a race for a birthday treat? If you have, let us know about it in the comments below. <laughs> So let's get to how we got on at the Bath Two Tunnels Half Marathon on my birthday treat. So on the morning of the race we got the park and ride down to the race headquarters. Which was at Brickfield Park, a open field above the centre of the city of Bath. Having collected our race numbers and queue to use the toilet, it was then time to put our baggage in the supervised baggage area and join the people at the start of our way for the race briefing and a group warm up before setting off on the Bath Two Tunnels Half Marathon. So, John had told me it was a flat out and back on tarmac course. Oh, I was really surprised in the first 400 metres when we came across this. Oh dear, yes, after the Marriott's Way Half Marathon, yes. the last thing I expected was a short, steep, downhill, muddy section. But not to worry, we were soon out on the beautiful rolling tarmac of the old Greenway in Bath. So this was sort of a slightly unusual race because you couldn't really see where you were in terms of your own position. There was lots of people who were starting in different waves at different times doing different distances. So luckily for John and myself, we were doing it as a training run because I think I would have found it very difficult if I was doing it as a race because I just didn't know who was doing what, who was going where. Uh, but hey, it was a lovely, lovely experience. <laughs> So the majority of the race route runs along the Bath Two Tunnels Greenway. This was originally part of the Somerset and Dorset Railway, which was run on in the Blandford Park Run and elsewhere. And the main feature of the race, as the name suggests, are the two tunnels. The first of which, the Devonshire Tunnel, which we're just entering now, is about 400 metres long. So compared to a railway tunnel local to us, we often run through, this tunnel felt particularly narrow and quite humid inside. It was built in the Victorian times and you can marvel at the architecture, the ingenuity and in the engineering that went on to build these tunnels. To the Devonshire Tunnel, out again into the beautiful Bath Greenway. So the course itself had a slight climb as we were going out and uh, my legs, unfortunately, were feeling a little bit heavy at this stage, probably because I'd run quite hard at the Five Arches Park Run the day before, having got a really, really good time for me, 21.20, which was the second fastest time I've done as a female 55. 
So into the second tunnel for the first time, the Coombe Down Tunnel, which amazingly stretches out for over one mile, the longest tunnel of its type in the UK. So just past the turnaround point, number one. So if we set back towards brick fields before a lap of the muddy fields, then out again. Oh, well, remarkably, given those tunnels, our watches both beat five miles, a few yards either side of the five mile marker. So, the event was called Two Tunnels and it certainly lived up to its name as we had to go out back, out back and we went through the tunnels I think eight times in total. So yeah, definitely um, a long time spent running through the darkness. So I think I calculated over five and a half miles of this race was spent in tunnels. So as Dawn says, certainly living up to its name there. So at the halfway point in the race we had to come off the Greenway Trail and do a lap of the field which as you can see had had plenty of keen feet trampling it down. Uh, down the short section of mud where I found an alternative solution as you can see here in order to preserve my upright status. Although I was enjoying the event, I personally found it mentally tough going out on the second loop. It also seemed to me to get really quite busy at this point because they'd started off other waves in uh, races. Personally, I quite enjoyed going out, back, out, back on little sections, tunnel, clear bit, tunnel, clear bit, because it helped segment the race into different sections for me. So, although I was feeling tired and my legs were heavy, I still had enough to pick up the pace in the last couple of miles and run at a faster speed. And here we have it. Dawn's last race hey. in this age category. Yay! So, as I powered towards the finish line, contemplated a job well done. So, bye-bye 50s and welcome to the 60s. So, I had a pretty solid run there, as you can see from the numbers. The first two miles took me a little bit of time to get into pace. That was because we didn't really warm up before the run. Uh, we started on grass as well, which was a slow start. And then, as John said, there was a little bit of a bank that was a, a muddy embankment. But then once we were onto the nice tarmac surface, I was able to get into marathon pace and clip off those miles. However, towards the end of the run, you could see that my heart rate had started to rise and I was getting more into half marathon effort. But that's still a good workout for me because I was working above and below marathon effort. And as a bonus, when the results came out, we saw that Dawn was 10th female overall and first in the 50 to 59 female age category in her last ever race before she moves into a new category. So well done Dawn and a prize of another relish running race. So I'd like just to mention the medals we got at the end of the run. I never normally take much notice of running race medals, but I was particularly impressed with these. As you can see, they've merged in the historic theme of the railway, the line of which we're running along, with runners running. So they've juxtaposed what used to happen with the steam trains running with the modern icons of the runners. And I think it's really effective and the colours shine really brightly. So full marks to relish running for those race medals. Yes, and they're also in wood, so full sustainability points there. So for me, this race also represented a really good workout at just below marathon effort, conditioning my legs for the demands of a tarmac marathon at Manchester in April. So we really enjoyed our morning out at the Bath Two Tunnels Half Marathon, and we hope to do some more events in the future organised by Relish Running. So we hope you've enjoyed joining us for this little adventure down in Bath. If you have, please give this video a like. And if you'd like to see our further training, running and park runs, then please hit that subscribe button.
So until next time, keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on.